Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be discussing Pokemon Legends Arceus. And in specific, we're going to be talking about the Hisuian forms that were revealed in the most recent Pokemon Presents, and speculate a little bit as to why these Pokemon don't exist in the modern world. Now, the real reason is of course because these Pokemon didn't exist at the time of the original games, the concept of regional forms was not a thing, but what is the lore-based reason? Are they extinct? Are they no longer there? Have the climate conditions in the region changed so that Pokemon no longer evolve into these forms? These are a lot of interesting questions that Legends Arceus is going to present to us, and we're going to discuss them here. So with that being said, let's jump straight into things. There was a lot revealed at the most recent Pokemon Presents, and one of the most exciting things that was revealed for Pokemon Legends Arceus in specific were Hisuian forms of Pokemon. These are brand new evolutions or brand new forms of already previously existing Pokemon that are in the new Ancient Sinnoh region. It's not officially called Ancient Sinnoh, but Ancient Sinnoh is kind of what, what I've been going with as well. And this is really exciting for a variety of reasons, but the biggest reason that it's so exciting is because it means that Legends has a new hook. Legends Arceus' main thing was that it's a poke, an open world Pokemon game, a more story and adventure based game, but we were of the assumption of, okay, this is a region we know. This is a world that we have an understanding of. But new Pokemon, that certainly couldn't happen. It's not millions of years ago where we could see old uh, Pokemon that would exist as fossils in the modern time. This is maybe 200, 300 years as some Pokemon YouTubers have speculated prior to what we experience in the main games. So you really can't have old forms, except they managed to do it and they managed to explain it in such a way which gives it credence, makes it believable, and I think really allows it to fit in with how the theory and concept of evolution works in the Pokemon world. One of the reasons that they stated in the trailer is that a lot of these Pokemon needed this new way of evolving, this new form to evolve into, because they had to adapt to the climate of this region. Sinnoh of old is a lot harsher, it's a lot colder, it is not as temperate temperate cold as it might be in the modern games, it's a lot harsher. It's more of an Alaska as, as, a, as a world, real world comparison, more like Northern Canada, somewhere where it's going to be incredibly cold all throughout the year. And the creatures that live in that environment have to evolve in such a way to adapt. And that brings about the core question of this video, which is what happened to a lot of these Pokemon once we get to more modern times? Have they died out? Do they no longer exist in the world? Are there none existing in a small pocket of nature as we find with many animals in the real world that we consider to be extinct, but then we realize, oh wait, they are actually still here. Or are they just gone? Are they, are they just wiped off the face of the Pokemon world in these games, never to be seen again? It's a really heavy topic for Pokemon to be addressing, and regional variants is such a smart way to address it. I think they've done a good job giving us a lot of speculative material without outright giving us an answer. Now, before I move too further in this video, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and are hopefully enjoying them are not subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, you've heard this in every video, so if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? But subscribing is free. It means you get my videos as soon as they come out. If you hit that notification bell as well, you will get an alert, so you will never miss a Pokemon discussion, a Nintendo discussion, an Avatar discussion, anything that I might put out on this channel. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to, you know, gross gray and white that really isn't very inviting or creative on YouTube's part. And be sure to subscribe to the channel today. I also want to mention this is the first video I'm uploading since I hit 5,000 subscribers. I just wanted to thank you guys so much. The support is unbelievable and it's really cool to see so many of you guys enjoying these discussion topics. You might hear that the audio in this video is not as good as it usually is. I just moved into my uh, apartment up at college. So we're still dealing with, you know, putting some things on the walls, getting rid of this echo. I'm going to have to get some noise canceling stuff to put on the wall. So this is an ever changing process, but I didn't want to let you guys go too long without a new video. So I'm going to work on some of it in editing. Hopefully it sounds better, but please bear with me on that. It should all be fixed by the next upload after this one. The question of if these Pokemon are extinct or not is really interesting in my mind because it points to one of the central premises of this game, which is that this is a region that will eventually be known as Sinnoh that is largely untouched by man. This is a sprawling natural environment where Pokemon and Pokemon habitats reign supreme. 
And it's also different in terms of climate, as I mentioned before, to modern Sinnoh, so that Pokemon are going to have to live in this environment in an entirely different way. And the people who eventually come to this region, the, the group that you're with, some of the other characters on the map that seem to be other human civilizations, how they deal with this world that is in front of them. And the Pokemon, just as the humans, have to adapt in different ways. As it states on the Pokemon website for the Legends Arceus information, this is a harsh reality. When we talk about Hisuian Braviary, we learn that it comes from the north and that it lives here and it had to evolve differently in order to deal with the frigid and cold climates. This is a great and a uh, very well explained way that Game Freak has handled regional forms. They've always pushed that it's the environment itself that causes these Pokemon to evolve differently. We have to understand that in the Pokemon games, evolution is a little bit different from the way evolution works in our own real world. There is, of course, the opportunity and the probability that Pokemon over millennia have evolved into what they become today. But that isn't the same thing as the mechanic of evolution, which could better be determined and called as metamorphosis, really, in the games themselves. These are two very different mechanics. So if we have a region where the climate changes severely when we come into modern times, there's definitely a really good in-game explanation to be provided that this caused that evolution to no longer be necessary. Braviary in this region no longer have to evolve into what they evolved into in the time of Legends Arceus because the environment in which they operated in didn't call for it. This is really smart game design, and it also makes the game fit in well with some of the previously uh, put out games. Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I mean, Gen 4, none of these Pokemon existed. Hisuian Growlithe wasn't a Pokemon in these games. Braviary wasn't a Pokemon. Basculegion, an evolution of, of Basculin, a Gen 5 Pokemon didn't <laughs> its concept as a character in Pokemon wasn't even there at the time. This, this was a Gen 5 Pokemon in a Gen 4 game. It, it just didn't happen. So tying it to the changing of time in this region is a really smart mechanic, and it really gives Game Freak a lot of leeway in terms of designing new characters, giving this world its own cast of creatures that really lets it feel like its own and lets it breathe on its own. And I think ultimately the question of are they extinct or not is a simple one. It's yes, these Pokemon no longer exist in modern times in Sinnoh. These Pokemon are characters of the Pokedex lost to time, if you will. They are Pokemon that cannot be restored by fossils because the fossilization process as it happens in modern times takes an incredibly long period of time. So these bodies haven't even, these, the, the supposed, this is kind of dark, but the supposed dead bodies of these Pokemon from the Hisui, from the Hisui region haven't even fossilized and reached a point in time where fossilization is possible, which would explain why in the modern Pokemon games, you cannot find these Pokemon and restore these Pokemon as fossils. You can find the Bastiodons and the Shieldons, you can find the Cranidoses and the Rampardos, Aerodactyl, a lot of these super ancient Pokemon that roamed the earth. And since they've had an appropriate amount of time to fossilize using their inherently what seems to be magic tricks in the Pokemon world, they can restore them to their original state. Cratedilly, Laleep, all of these fossil Pokemon are super ancient Pokemon. These guys in Hisui, these are more modern. This is a modern occurrence of these Pokemon dying out. We probably don't know a ton about these Pokemon in modern times. I would imagine that if you showed a Hisuian Growlithe to Professor Oak, he'd be like, what on earth am I looking at? If you showed it to Professor Rowan, he might have some sketches and some drawings from his ancestor, who is Professor, the professor in the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, which, which whose name I cannot remember at this time. But these are a lot of really interesting things that this game gets to grapple with. And I'm really glad that they've gone down this route because it also means that you're probably, I would have to assume, going to be able to transfer these Pokemon into home and maybe even get to bring them into Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl once Legends Arceus comes out. If they wanted to do this perfectly, and I think it would be a really amazing thing, there could be something programmed into Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that when you show the professor or you show some researcher some of these Hisuian Pokemon, they are stunned. They are amazed. They're like, what is this? We've never seen this creature before. This is something that science doesn't understand. This, there could be a whole storyline getting special item or some kind of special thing in the game, a special event programmed into Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl centered around getting this Pokemon from home. 
And it wouldn't really break canon. I mean, when you bring a Pokemon from, let's say, Black 2 and White 2 into X and Y, and you go look at their little bio, which you can see when you look at the summary of your Pokemon itself, it always talks about, oh, it seems to have traveled from time and space to get here. We don't really understand why or how. So it doesn't break canon. It doesn't really break what's already been done in the Pokemon world. And it would really allow all the Pokemon of Sinnoh to exist in BDSP. BDSP is going to be, is essentially going to be the, the main way that people play Sinnoh. So having the Pokemon from ancient Sinnoh and also having the Pokemon from modern Sinnoh all in one game is a really cool feature and it's something they can market as this doesn't, you can't get this in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. These are Sinnoh Pokemon technically that you cannot get. They are in these new remakes, which are on the Switch. And maybe that, that cross compatibility between Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl ultimately helps these games sell well, which is their company. That's kind of the, the name of the game right there. So with that being said, I would love to know what you guys think. Is it tragic that these Pokemon are extinct in modern times? I mean, I think it is. Do you guys like the concept of Hisuian forms in the Hisui region? Are you excited about the possibility of other Pokemon that we don't already know about getting released or maybe held back until the game comes out that have these new regional variants? I would love to know what you guys think. So with that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.